Have you ever asked yourself, can you travel faster than light? Like they do in Star Trek, or is it just a fantasy? All right, listen up, space-time travel enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Eric Lentz's journey began by watching the iconic TV series Star Trek. In each episode, Captain Jean-Luc Picard would confidently command, Warp 1, engage! It was a phrase that ignited the imagination. Stars turned into streaks of light and unimaginable distances were crossed in the blink of an eye. He immersed himself in the subject, realizing that there was a scarcity of information. As he continued to ponder the possibilities, he had a groundbreaking insight that had eluded others in the field. Could the dream of warp drive now become a scientific reality? In the realm of space and time, there lies an enormous challenge. The universe's vastness remains a formidable obstacle for human exploration. Consider this, even a beam of light takes more than four years to reach the closest star to Earth, Proxima Centauri. With our most advanced propulsion technologies, it would still require tens of thousands of years for a human to undertake such a journey. While dreams of colonizing other star systems persist, it's a feat that remains distant and improbable. Yet hope emerges on the horizon. There's a desire to find a way to shrink the vastness of space and time to bridge the cosmic gaps. Various ideas have been proposed, from laser-accelerated solar sails to nuclear propulsion. But even with these innovations, interstellar travel within a human lifetime seems like a distant dream. Therefore, the notion of a bubble in space and time within which a spacecraft could leap from one star to another has long captured the imaginations of visionary physicists. This concept represents the cutting edge of scientific exploration, an idea that's not necessarily wrong but is seasoned with a generous dash of optimism. The fact that scientists delve into this idea today is indebted to a 1994 paper authored by Miguel Alcubierre, a Mexican theoretical physicist. Alcubierre was not just a fervent enthusiast of Star Trek, he was also deeply engaged in the theory of relativity during his doctoral studies. Strictly speaking, the theory of relativity asserts that nothing can surpass the speed of light. However, through a creative interpretation, Alcubierre uncovered what appeared to be a potential workaround. Albert Einstein's groundbreaking revelation tells us that our existence is interwoven with a four-dimensional structure known as space-time. Unlike a static entity, space-time behaves much like a flexible tablecloth. Massive objects create deformations in this cosmic fabric, setting a universal speed limit that nothing can exceed, the speed of light. Yet, the tablecloth of space-time itself can be warped at varying rates, a phenomenon evident in certain cosmic scenarios. For instance, during the colossal event of the Big Bang, it's believed that the original structure of space-time expanded in an instant, far surpassing the velocity of light. This cosmic expansion continues even today propelling galaxies to extreme distances at speeds exceeding that of light. Inspired by this cosmic dance, Miguel Alcubierre conceived the notion of a warp drive, a means to potentially outpace the cosmic speed limit. His idea involved the contraction of space-time in front of a spacecraft, simultaneously expanding it behind, thus enabling travel at superluminal speeds. The ship would find itself enveloped within a protective bubble, concealing the enormity of the interstellar voyage from its occupants. However, when translating this idea into the language of general relativity, a host of significant practical challenges emerge. To manipulate space-time to this degree, one would need to cram an immense mass into a bubble, confined by a wall thinner than an atomic nucleus. Furthermore, sustaining this bubble would necessitate two distinct forms of matter. The gravitational forces exerted by ordinary mass would lead to the contraction of space at the front of the bubble, propelling the entire structure forward. Simultaneously, the space at the rear of the bubble must expand. Alcubierre asserted that achieving this expansion would demand a type of negative energy capable of generating anti-gravitational effects. For most scientists, this presented a significant roadblock. Energy, as defined by Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, typically possesses positive values. However, within the realm of quantum theory, it's a different story. In very specialized circumstances, energy can assume negative values. Acknowledging this obstacle, Miguel Alcubierre, now a physics professor, and his colleague admitted the substantial technological hurdles. In a recent preprint paper, they underscored the deficiencies of warp drive as a feasible technology. Consequently, Alcubierre redirected his attention toward exploring established phenomena like black holes. He understood the allure that warp drive persisted, 
particularly for avid Trekkies and a handful of gravitational physicists who occasionally offer variations on the concept. Some of these physicists have tackled the challenge of reducing the warp bubble's mass requirements. Their goal, to bring down the total mass necessary for deforming space-time to levels less than that of our Sun. However, the major stumbling block remained unresolved. The requirement for negative energy. That was until Eric Lentz embarked on his journey during the lockdown in Göttingen. While isolated, Lentz discovered a method to construct a warp bubble. Using solely positive energy, effectively circumventing the primary problem to warp drives. What facilitated this breakthrough was a unique aspect of space-time's geometry, concealed within Einstein's field equations derived from his general theory of relativity. These equations offer a means of calculating how matter and energy distribution shapes space-time. Much like Alcubierre's approach, they allow scientists to determine the mass and energy to create specific space-time curvatures. Eric Lentz's exploration in particular scrutinized the underlying assumptions that engendered the negative energy prerequisites in Alcubierre's work. Parallel to his colleagues' efforts, Lentz commenced by dissecting space-time, envisioning it as a stack of exceedingly thin layers. He identified a significant divergence from Alcubierre's approach. Specifically, the application of more intricate hyperbolic relations rather than the simpler linear connections previously considered. These hyperbolic relations typically describe swiftly changing quantities and yielded a warp bubble differing from Alcubierre's in that it demanded a substantial mass and energy, both of positive nature. Lentz expressed his surprise that no one had ventured down this path before him. Lentz's conceptualized warp bubble takes on a distinct appearance from Alcubierre's original concept from 1994. It comprises diamond-shaped regions where space-time undergoes alterations. Realizing such a space-time geometry in practice would necessitate a complex assembly of rings and disks composed not of solid material, but an incredibly dense fluid teeming with charged particles, akin to the substance found within neutron stars. It's essential to recognize that near-light speed travel still remains a far cry from being a viable technology. However, the new facet introduced by Lentz's research eliminates the necessity for exotic negative energy densities. As a result, the theoretical realm of warp drives ventures deeper into the domain of established physics. Lentz's work holds the potential to stimulate fresh interest and novel avenues of exploration within warp drive physics. Now there are still debates regarding the feasibility of warp bubbles operating without the need for negative energy. A recent viewpoint from three theoreticians argued that this assertion might hold true exclusively for observers traveling alongside the bubble. Furthermore, not every phenomenon theoretically permitted by the theory of relativity necessarily exists or is attainable through technology. For instance, Einstein's field equations theoretically accommodate concepts such as white holes, the counterpoint to black holes, Einstein-Rosen bridges, commonly referred to as wormholes, and other exotic space-time alterations that have never been observed. The absence of these phenomena in reality might be attributed to as-yet undiscovered natural laws that prohibit them. Given these uncertainties, some researchers advise against excessive indulgence in speculative scenarios. Space propulsion expert Martin Tajmar states that the colossal masses involved in warp drive research exceed the practical boundaries of Earth-based experimentation. Most seasoned warp drive researchers concur with this perspective, viewing their endeavors as an exploration of the boundaries of relativity rather than a prelude to tangible experiments. In contrast, Eric Lentz is actively pursuing a practical application of his warp drive concept. He continues to contemplate ways to achieve faster-than-light travel by manipulating space-time curvature and reducing the energy demands. Lentz also champions a closer examination of the vicinity of neutron stars, suggesting that these ultra-compact stellar remnants might naturally emit the space-time bubbles he elucidates in his paper. He emphasizes that, as long as one maintains objectivity and aligns with the evidence, this field of research is as worthwhile as any other. Things are only impossible until they are not. If you've been as captivated by this journey as we have, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Share your opinions in the comments below. And if you're hungry for more mind-bending tales like this, remember to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to Becker's Casual History. Before we wrap up, I know you're still fascinated by time travel? Get ready to immerse yourself in the captivating story of Ukrainian time traveler Sergei Ponomarenko. Just a click away is your passport to an adventure that will transport you into a world that will make you question the very fabric of existence. Check it out.